Hey, welcome back to Elden Ring, the status effects playthrough. And my DLC character, we're in Volcano Manor, and I just took out Godskin Noble, and I'm on my way, uh, this way. <laughs> I'm just gonna grab the items over here. Godskin Noble wasn't bad at all, and I'm level 90, I have 40 Vigor, and my weapons are plus 6 and plus 14, I think. And, um, what really worked was I used sleep pots, uh, to give myself time so I could, like, rot and poison and all that stuff. Yes, that's it. And I'm trying to find... I know there's a cave somewhere around here that... Has some kind of a fight that's like... I don't, I don't know how to say it. It's like dual... Um, there's dual Iron Virgins. Okay, what is this? I don't know, I'm gonna have to check that later. Because I know it's a thing, but I just don't know where the thing is. And then also, I know there's a little area here that I don't usually explore that I need to check out. Okay, so I don't need the sleep pots anymore. Uh, I'll go back to my volcano pots, seeing as how we're in Volcano Manor. I don't have any, like, Volcano Manor attire. You know, like, I don't have any outfit that would make the most sense for this area. One thing I always... I didn't understand is... Volcano Manor doesn't have, like, soldiers. You know how, like, all the areas have, like, a specific soldier? Like, this area just doesn't have soldiers. Wait, where are you? It's invisible! Guys, that enemy is invisible right now. Am I insane? Oh, and there they are. I, I swear that enemy was just invisible. Yo, ouch, it hurts. It hurts bad. Yo, this one's faster than the other ones, I swear. Or I'm just not doing a great job. No, 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 no. Dude. Okay, so over here... Oh, maybe there's a better way to get there. There's supposed to be a cave over there. I don't know. What about here? Anything? Nah. Okay. There's a cookbook down here. 100%. And, um, I... Oh, I was, like, looking at the previous... Parts, and, like, there's been some audio issues. Uh like blow out and stuff like that but I just don't have a very expensive like luxurious setup all my stuff is like bootleg like you know what I mean all right what did, what can I do now I think... I, actually, I have no idea what this is. What's new?
I don't know. I don't know what that is. I think, okay, so, and I learned something not too long ago where you can do, you can sort your stuff by order of acquisition. I think cookbooks are key items, right? Right? Yeah. Order of acquisition. Holy proof dried liver. And then the last one I got was alluring pot. Volcano pot, rogue pot, okay. Really, this is the order I've gotten this stuff? Yikes, okay. Cool, let's go. But anyway, what I was saying is I put like a, a filter. I like looked it up and I put a, a filter on my uh, mic thing, so. It's a digital filter, and apparently it's supposed to smooth out the volume, but, I mean, I don't know. I, there's just only so much I think it can do. Okay, you. Oh, actually, I had better luck with these guys uh, with the bloody Helis. I didn't I had no idea Ouch that fire attack that was rough Okay, there's... there it is. Oh yeah, she's not in here. Okay, I have to follow her quest. Uh, I think I have to do stuff for her quest. Okay, let me go check out this cave. I, apparently there's a cave here. That's filled with, uh, something gross. <gasps> what are you doing? Nothing else is aggroed. Okay, maybe I should have used the great sword. Oh, I see. Okay. Tis worse than I had thought. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. Yeah, that can't be the only one. Yeah, there's that guy too. Oh. Come on, come over here. Wait, are you dead? You...
Okay, what is this? What are you? Oh, Summer Six. Okay. That's great. I needed that. There's one, like, snake guy up on the, like, upper level that's, like, losing his mind. Really, they put six basilisks in there. Jeez. They weren't messing around. Okay, I'm gonna put this back on. Is there a ladder? All right, all right, all right. We're good. Like, this guy? I don't even know. I... You can't get near this guy. Oh, hell yeah, we did it. Good job. Good job. Good job. Give myself a pat on the back to uh, soothe my uh, nerves. I just need to get to the somber seven and open the shortcut because I can't kill Rikard yet. And the reason why is I need to go to Vulc I mean uh, the snow fields in order to kill uh, Juno Haslow before I do that. Because he gives like that quest line gives a, a talisman that's like imperative. It's um Taker's cameo. What was I using? This? Sure. Man Serpent. Oh, look at this poor guy. Dude, you did your best. Yo, he even had the, um... He had... I don't know what it's called. Rivers of Blood. Now, that was weird. <laughs> that was so weird. I'm finally using my Stone Sword keys. Okay, so there... See this? There's something there. Ah! That's fine. I'll take it. I'll take it. You know, they would... Okay, so where's the cage? Oh, here it is. Oh, we did it. How about it?
seed. I have to give the potion to. I have to give the potion to. What's his name? Gideon. See ya! I have to give that potion to Gideon because I decided I'm not gonna get, um. Dung Eater. Because. I want to do the majority of the DLC without Spirit Ashes, and I never really liked Dung Eater Spirit Ash anyway. And you know why? It's because Royal Knight Resolve, okay? And it's because of the sound he makes. I don't know if you've ever heard it, but it's like this guttural screech when he uses his. It's cool, like it's a really cool exertion or however they say it, but I don't know, it's a little oh I'm back oh, okay nice I'm here oh, I gotta go talk to Raya I found that like thing the like uh embiotic thing did you read the letter left that is the task you will be compensated if you are loath to hunt but you must leave this, this is a we have no plea you've completed your task I am pleased now you are a recusant true and a full-fledged member of the Volcano Manor. Oh, yeah? This is your reward, as promised. Never forget that the recusant fights to tread the path of the champion. The way is tainted, but for this very reason, it is the true path to Valor. Now you are a rec I am ple- These guys are really, really weird. Because... They're like talking about how it's the path to valor, but it's like it's such a simple path. Like you're just they're just killing people. It's it's not even like I don't get why it's valor. Here she is. Brave tarnished. What is your business here? I'm afraid this is not a guest room. What's that peculiar look upon your face? Goodness. Am I still a serpent? Oh, how dreadful. How dreadful indeed. Oh, forgive my distress. I ought to be thanking you for treating me as usual. Despite this appearance. Brave tarnished. This is my true form. My real name is Zarias. Please forgive the deception. Do understand. This duplicity is my own doing. Lady Tanith speaks no falsehoods. And the Volcano Manor is just as it seems. Lady Tanith is my mother. I am told I was born by the grace of a glorious king. That my mother cherishes this form I inhabit. I am proud of what I am. But people are cruel. If they saw my true form, they wouldn't speak to me. And so I assume a guise when seeking new recruits. But you are not like the rest. My serpentine form and the name Zarias were secrets known only to Lady Tanith and I. Now I share the secrets with you as well. Please keep them safe from anyone else. My ser were secrets. Now I share. Please keep them. Okay, I gotta read the weird thing I got in the room where I fought Godskin Noble. It was like a this serpents. Ammonian. Ammonian, I don't know what that word is, from the mother's womb which cradled the poor unwanted offspring of a repellent birthing ritual. It will never dry out, remaining damp indefinitely. That's disgusting, but okay. Okay, that's it. Alright, so now, uh, we talk to her. I don't think that, like, what? Well, I don't know if there's a reason to do this quest line because the talisman you get at the end of it is really bad. I think it it's more of a metaphor talisman. It's not. Here you are. My serpentine form and the name Zora Secrets. Now I share that. Please keep them. My serpent secret. Now I share that. Please keep them safe. Okay. So let's talk to Tanith and be like, Tanith. I know your secret, you weirdo. Now you are. I am pleased. Zarya's form. Did you see her? 
I did. The girl. Yep. Raya. Uh-huh. With her true face. Mm. <laughs> well, if she confided in you the name Zarias, then perhaps it is not my place to speak. But as her adoptive mother, oh. I ask of you, please be kind to her. Look after young Zarias. Her true visage belies the purity of her heart. Honestly, I hardly deserve the sweet child. You don't deserve her. Please, her true visit. Okay, so... <laughs> she, I like how she's like, you saw it? Her real face? Dun dun dun. Now you are a re I am Lee. Okay. So now I gotta be like, Raya, I talked to your mom. She thinks you're uh, a sweetheart. I thought she was supposed to give me a My potion. Serpent, a secret. Now I share the Please keep them. Okay, so we gotta... I need to go this way anyway. But I need to go to... I need to go back through there because there's another way I can go. Um around in order to get a certain go to a certain path which I don't know I'm not familiar with and I don't know what's there it's like a drop down okay I'm getting bored with this armor I need to switch to something else I got this and I'm not going to be fighting enemies I'm just going to be like running around right now to do the like do some quest thing so i'll just wear something silly Those bandages there we go stunning gorgeous let's go but the the um this quest line i i have not done in its entirety um, I've only, like, saw other people do it. So I'm like, I might as well experience it, and then, you know. And I was like, oh, we found out some new things from Miyazaki about the DLC. Not the DLC, yeah, the DLC. And it's nothing like spoilers. I guess it is, like, technically a spoiler, but I don't know. But apparently, he... Uh, confirmed that Shadow of the Earth Tree will be the only DLC for Elden Ring. And I don't know, I might have already said that, but I don't really know. I can't remember. If I did, so be it. But I'd rather, what my thought, my thinking of it was, like, I'd rather them work on new things rather than make a new DLC. Uh,. Just because I think it would be... Wait, can I jump down here? Yo, where do I jump down? Yeah, go away. You, you, this, I, are you here? Oh, Raya's not even here yet. She's supposed to be here, I thought. Ah, darn, okay. Maybe I have, no, I can't kill Rykard yet. Yeah, if I kill Rykart, then everyone leaves the Volcano Manor. They just, like, peace out. They're like, they don't even stick around f to see what happens. Okay, did Big Nasty follow me? No. Okay, so this is first playthrough vibes right now. 
trying to figure these things out. This is like my favorite thing ever. Okay, so I kind of can see it, but the thing is, if I drop down there, I might get ledged. Like, ricochet off that one little lip. Let's take a look at, um, rainbow stones. Uh, oh, okay. <gasps> no, no, no. No. <laughs> when I was on the way down, I was like, okay, nope, this isn't going to cut it. I bet there's another way to get there. Wait. There's really... I was thinking... Oh, there's a grace in here, I thought. In... Once you kill Godskin Noble, does a grace appear? I think it does, and I didn't get it. Save me some, like, running and stuff. Oh no, I got it. What is wrong? I don't even know. I'm confused. What's behind here, though? Some candles. No, but the snakes, um... The one thing I don't like about their character design... Is... The limbs. They just don't make sense. I know They don't have to make sense, because it's a fantasy video game. But... They have this, like, big body structure, and then these, like, tiny little limbs. I'm like, I don't... Uh, what? Like, how does the organism keep itself a lot... Uh, <laughs> walk around? But, anyway. I was a graphic designer for quite a few years. And, um... There's just some of these... Some things in the... Especially in this game that make me like feel like the animators and the character designers used some different like art styles that I'm not really familiar with especially in the characters design like their tiny little limbs it's like what Th that is the most delayed wind up yikes Yo, this is a bit of a run. Get my stamina back. And the only reason... The biggest reason I think why is it looks weird to me is like look at the architecture how ornate it is and then you have these like extremely stylized characters it's like the contrast there is wild it's almost like holding up uh, like the Mona Lisa painting and then putting it next to like a screenshot from like Rugrats the cartoon it's the contrast there is crazy and I don't really know why they did that but it doesn't really I love the game this is my favorite game in the world it's incredible but it's the, I think that's like the only kind of critique I have of it I just wish I could see this better Okay, there it is. So I need to just jump off, like, right here. Nice. Yo, you go. Is this a whip one, though? Because if it's a whip 
whip guy, that changes everything. Yo, it's it's a candlestick one. And I'm doing this. We're going like full PvE serious right now. Oh, it's fire. Yo. Nice. Okay, what? Anything? Okay, I know what that is. That's just like a little Albanork wizard guy. But I want to check for illusory walls. Nah. What is the point of this? Oh, okay. Dag- This is where you get the stupid dagger talisman. I've seen this so many times, and I- You know, this- This is the crit dagger. This is the crit talisman. Enhances critical hits. Yep. Wow. They hit it really well, because it is. It's like really, really good. Okay. Nice. That'll be so good for the DLC. Hey, how do I... Yet yeah, this fire damage liver lasts a really long time. Oh, there's more. Okay. Glowstone? I have 20 of them. Okay, what do we got? Oh, I, I, I understand. Okay. So this is where we platformed. Up there. That's all of the platforming we did. To get down here. Yeah, you can hardly see. It's so dark. Okay. Nothing. And that's it. Okay, and then it just goes back to your normal platforming. Okay. Yo, that's it. We did it. Okay, so I need to figure out how I progress Raya's quest. Like, what's the next step? Maybe it talked to Patches because Patches and her were in cahoots at um, Laernia of the Lakes. They were like Patches actually tells you like when you get to this one like hill, Patches is pretty much like, hey, you know, that girl Raya, like, why don't you go give her a chance? Okay, she didn't move. They didn't move. You still... Nothing. Well, Wait, let me buy your stuff while I'm here. Hey. You st well. Perhaps I know. It's worse than that. As things stand, I've given up on the path of revenge and sullied the name of my house. What an easy mark I must have been. Okay. What an easy mark you must have been. For who? Like, for the assassins? My serpentine for secrets. Okay, so maybe I think... I think I have to progress with the Volcano Manor. So let me go do the next assassination. And then... Like, maybe that's the next kind of... Cue. You know what I mean? Why am I heavy? Oh, I died. Okay, I stopped using the... Um, the only time I'm using, what do you call them? 
Oh, God. Oh, it's this. This is heavier than my other thing. Okay. The only time I've been using rune arcs is when I'm doing, like, bosses. Because, um, they're really powerful. Okay, I gotta do this guy. Let's go do it. And I probably shouldn't use them at all because... I feel overpowered enough. Where am I? Oh, I don't want that one. I want Erdtree Grazing Hill. I still have to do Gelmer... The Gelmer Grave. Nice. We did it. Okay, let's go. I fought through this whole area. This guy gives a really good talisman, I think. And what I really want is the pulley crossbow. I love that thing. And I think I could load it up with, like, bleed arrows and stuff like that. What are you, butterflies? Okay, let's take this guy out and, uh... Is this it? I didn't know there was a spirit spring there. Okay. I think I missed it. Half the difficulty of this fight is the terrain. Yeah, this is it. 100%. Yeah, there he is. Okay. Yeah, rune arcs don't even work during PvP, so... Alright, what do I have? I have this... I'm gonna use Bloody Helis on, uh, this, this guy. Yeah. Yo, let me wear some gloves. I want to backstab you. Got it. Nice, we got him. Not too bad, not too bad. Oh, I learned something about PvP. Um, key bolts. Black key bolts? Black key bolts. Causes Scarlet Rot buildup. Can you make these? Blood loss build up bird bolts, but you can't craft these, so I don't know. I don't know why they give you stuff like that, and then, like, you only get like 30 of them, and then it's like you can't make any more. Like, why? 
it's such a tease. Like, they're like, oh, there's cool things, but you only get 60 of them. I guess, like, you could use them. Yo, watch there actually be a way to get them, and I'm just, like, totally making stuff up. All right, so let me tell her I did the thing. I see you here is your usual reward. Oh, Serpent Bone Blade. I forgot about this. And it has poison buildup. Now, perhaps the time has come to tell you of the true ruler of this manor. Lord Rikard. The Erd Tree blessed the Tarnished with grace, but it was all too meager in the face of the enormity of their task. The Tarnished were forced to scavenge, squabbling for crumbs, like the shard bearers vying for power in the wake of the shattering. Our Lord, indignant, has refused to scurry about, fighting over what miserly scraps they allow us. If the Erd Tree, and indeed the very gods, would debase us so, then we are willing to raise the banner of resistance, even if it means heresy. We at the Volcano Manor, under Lord Rikard, have sworn no rest until it is done. If you follow this heroic path, one day the Lord will see you. The Lord's visits with our champions are always a spectacle. It cannot come a day too soon. If you follow the... It cannot come... All right. Thanks, Lady Tanith, for being awkward as always. Her voice sounds like the one lady from American Horror Story. Um, oh, it's you. Forgive me. My mind never ceases to churn of late. Hmm, well, I know I can trust you. I saw something slithering in the pitch black of night. It entered the room next to this one and never came out. If I'm not mistaken, it took the form of a serpent, just like me. Does the Volcano Manor hide some secret that Lady Tanith has kept from me? I realize that I shouldn't impose, but if you discover anything, would you please share? Tell her. I'll tell her the dark side. You know, secrets don't make friends. Really? So there was a secret after all. Oh my, Lady Tanith, my own mother, has deceived me. Was I not born by the grace of a king? Give serpents ammonian. Like, should I give it to her? I don't know. Uh, sure. Yeah, let's just do it. Take it. Hmm. What is this? I remember this scent distinctly. This is gross. Mm. Funny, isn't it? It's not funny. <sighs> I am certain of it. I was born inside this. It, you have my gratitude. Thanks to you, I am no longer afraid. I want to know how I was born and met Lady Tanith one day. I hope to call her mother once again. This time from the bottom of my heart. I want to know one day. Okay, so that that thing, that like blob, that was a ritual implement. I'm just realizing that. That was okay. If you follow it cannot Zoraya's troubles. She said that to you. Yes. I should well. Oh God. Zarias has placed her trust in you. All the more reason I must tell you that some things are better left unknown. Besides, no one should be blamed for their heritage. Think about it. We are resisting the ways of the Erd Tree itself. What matters one's lineage in such a crisis? Zarias has placed her trust in you. All the more reason I must tell you that some things are better left unknown. You know what? Okay. I don't know. Okay, let's see if Raya moves. Okay, she's gone.
If you follow, it cannot... Zariah's absence. She's gone. No. I haven't seen Zariah anywhere. She's run away. And she has no scouting duties now. Has she gone off in search of answers? Why won't she just listen? You just said... She just said some things are best, best left unknown. Like, what are you talking about? May I ask your aid? Sure. Not as the manor's proprietress, but as Zarias's mother. If she discovers the answer to her question, and it causes distress, have her drink this potion to purge that which would cause her pain. Tonic of forgetfulness. <laughs> How literal. The bottle's cool, though. Yes, I, I know. know. My wish is a grave disrespect to her. It is. No different than the Erd Tree's imposition. But I've no choice. It must be done. You have a choice. You're just awful. My wish is a grave disrespect to her. But I've no choice. It must be done. So... Alright, so... I'll get the, I'll put this back on later. But I need a break from the bug eyes. Like during this dialogue and stuff. Okay, so I need So first of all, I want to go to the church. Where is the church? Road of Inquiry, no. Temple. It's a temple. Okay, so that weird thing, right? So people do weird stuff in temples, like like this like see how like nasty it is and it was up here that was like a ritual implement that blob thing so they were making weird serpent people in here and that's probably where all those serpent people came from those abominations they probably yeah they made them in here so i gave that to her thinking that i was supposed to but i don't know if i was supposed to do that but whatever, no more serpent weirdos are going to be made then, now that we got rid of that, I would think. So the Volcano Manor is uh, disgusting. Even more so than other areas. It's not as, ba not as bad as Moog is. Like, Moog is the worst, to me anyway. But Volcano Manor is pretty bad. Okay, so I think Rhea is over here now, and I should maybe get the option to give her the potion of uh, forgetting or whatever. Oh, it's the wrong one. Wait, which one was it? What did I do? I think, I guess I missed a door somewhere. Can, excuse me, my cat's like knocking some stuff around. But, okay. And also, I need to look at the serpent blade. So what's the deal with the, with this? 66 poison buildup, and I bet that goes up as you upgrade it. It's classified as katana. You know what I think is the vibe with it? The physical damage? So, look at this. Look at this. Okay, so here's a great sword, right? So this is a great sword. And the base damage is 138. This is a katana. And this only has... This great sword only has 18 more base damage. So this has a faster move set causes poison poison buildup and it has really high base damage so but i think as you upgrade it my only thing probably is i bet as you upgrade it it does it might not get damage like more damage as fast as the gray sword but base damage is pretty good there's another katana i need to get when i you know make my way to kaled which is the meteoric ore blade and that has really high base damage. And then when I, you know, whenever I make it to the Halig tree. 
there's a sword there that causes rot buildup, but I'm not particularly interested in using it too much. I'll probably mess around with it a little bit, but I'm more interested in the axe. Like the rot axe. Okay, so I, yeah, I gotta go up around this guy. And then over here. There she is. Oh, it's you. I'm afraid there is something I must tell you. I was an unwanted child, born not of grace, but of a hideous ritual, something that can never be accepted, not by men, nor serpents. Even Lady Tanith shouldn't accept me. I know that you have done so much for me, but I wish to ask one last kindness. Kill me, please. I thought that I feared nothing, but this, free me from this accursed frame. So, I, I only have two options. I can kill or give her the tonic. I know that you have done so much for me. But I wish to ask one kill me. I thought that free me from this accursed frame. Why is this so demented? Like, I don't even know. Um, Tanith was really serious. She said, this must be done. Like, I, I think forgetting would be good, but... There's no other option. Where's the potion? Let me read it. Tonic of small brass vial burnishes distress and bitter memories. A gift bestowed by Rykard sworn to blasphemy to Lady Tanith, who unfortunately had no use for it. My lord, there could be no greater distress than to forget you. Okay, so... Okay, I understand now. Okay. So, okay, good. So I need to give this to her so she can forget all these people and leave. That's that's how I'm gonna I think of it. I you, but I wish kill me. I thought that free me from this occur. Give the thing. I'm to drink this then. Yes, of course. You always were very kind. This, I, I, I don't really like this, you guys. I'll be perfectly honest. This quest makes me really uncomfortable. <sighs> How delightfully sweet. And yet... <sighs> okay. Sorry, I'm being I'm being dramatic, but still, this is just a lot. It's a really weird quest. You know why it's weird to me? It, it's it's not so much the quest, but it's how she's sitting, like how she's sitting in front of you, like on the ground, like that, asking, like you know, please kill me. It's just really, really demented. It's um because. Like, if you really think about it, she's asking you to execute her. Like, you would... If you kill Rhea, you're executing her. Like, you are... You're terminating her. Abomination or not, like... I don't know. I, I don't think she deserves that. And if she wants to so bad, you know, she can always, you know, take the cliff or whatever. That's none of our business. Like, if she wants to go out back Volcano Manor and jump in the volcano... Like, whatever, Raya, that's on you. But, like, don't make... Don't bring me into it and be like, hey, you know... Like, I'm not saying I would want her to do that, but if she, in fact, did that, that's not on us. 
that would be, you know, her decision. But for us to just be like, okay, goodbye, like, you know. I'm sure a lot of people take that route because, you know, it is her wish, you know what I mean? I can understand why people would want to grant her wish. Okay, she's still asleep. So all I can think of is the way this progresses is you finish all of the Volcano Manor contracts and kill Rikard, and then that's the end of it. Okay, let me go talk to Tanith and be like, I did it. I did whatever the weirdness and uh, see what she says. If you follow this, it cannot... I gave her the potion. Thank you for allowing me this. I will never be a good mother. My heart is too frail. Our Lord must have known this all along. <laughs> My meekness is all too clear. Sweet Zarias. Have I earned your scorn? Sweet Zarias. Sweet Zarias. Sweet Zarias, whatever. Uh, so Lady Tanith is totally right. She would probably be an awful mom. It's just as my noble brother says. I'm a complete fool. I can't believe I thought I could become a champion. Perhaps I am a fool after all. No, it's worse than that. As things stand, I've won an easy mark. I must have... Okay, so he had one new little blip of dialogue where he was talking about his Look brother. You. I knew you. Take this. Letter to, to Bernal, okay. A special invitation to hunt some of the first tarnished who sat at the round table hold. If you should accept, I'll next see you on the field of battle. You're still alive. Okay, nice. Well. This is why I wanted to do Volcano Manor before. Because I knew there would be different things in the capital that would be influenced, so. Like, that's a... Oh, I have to talk to Patches, too. I think he's gonna give me a letter, too. To go take out some dude. Ah, hello. What impeccable timing. This is for you. Letter to Patches. You're new here at the manor. But if you complete the request, you can improve your standing. Relax. We're old friends. Time's come to pass the torch, right? Go on, break a leg then. <laughs> oh my God. Hello again. Well, you're awful about patches. Are you surprised that I belong to the Volcano Manor? Yes. I always I thought I could lend Oops, a hand sorry. in unmasking the charade. Not to mention, Tanith has always made me curious. I guess her master must really be something, because she's pretty damn smug about it. Even after announcing her blasphemous ambitions, she still stands proud. I've never seen a woman quite like her. Yo, Patches has the hots for Tanith, like 100%. Here, I'm going to sell my duplicates right now because I keep forgetting. Look at it. I have so many. Okay. Got it. Uh. Alright. Nice. Okay, so what about... Yeah, bows. And then, what else? Yo, I don't have a... Oh, I was like, I don't have a Dorito shield? Like, what? I'm stocked up right now. This is great. Okay. Uh, I love the aristocrat garb.
Sweet. Okay, we did it. Nice. Oh, I gotta do these. That's it. Okay. Cheers for that. Cheers for that, dude. Adios. I will not miss you. All right, let's go to. Okay, yeah, we can't get there. I have this mark now, and I have that mark. But what I want to do now is I want to start up this way. Wow, Volcano Manor is really impressing me because I always like. I just never went through the whole... That's not it. I want this one. I never went through the like whole total thing of Volcano Manor. I always did like little bits and pieces of it. But to do, like, the whole quest line and all that, that was really cool. Uh, what do I want? Ashes of War. And I want to put... I need a Holy Ash of War for this, this guy. What did I do with this? I don't know why I did that. Yo, I didn't upgrade this. Yikes. Ooh, Sacred Ring of Light. Oh, let's use the Butt Slam one. I just need this for the Mariner. And I want to look around the Mariner to see if I can summon D. Oh no, D is dead. Wait, should I do... Okay, I'm not going to do the Mariner because I want to test something. Actually, oh, I'm kind of oh, I'm sad I did D's quest line. Because I wanted to see if D would be a, a cooperator here. But he's dead right now. And even when he comes back to life after you take out Fortisax, like, I still think you would have gotten rid of the opportunity. I'm going to wait. Yeah, I'll hold off on it. And I'll come back. Around. To uh, the Mariner. Because I, I want to see if D is actually a cooperator. No, I'm way too impatient. I'm so impatient. I just want I just want to take him out. Let's just do it. Okay, I'm gonna just do it. Get it over with. And then I'll because I want the I want the death root. That's pretty much it. So I can give it to. Okay, so if D was a cooperator, like, he would be here. Like, he would be on the way. Oh, he's not done yet. Okay. Oh, I love it. Stamina is, uh, is rough.
Okay, see ya. All right, so I gotta go up here. And I didn't think this through. Because, uh, there is more undead that I need to, uh, consider here. But I'm not totally sure if I put... Do I have anything that has, like, just innate holy damage? This. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, hundred holy damage. There's like a talisman somewhere here. Where are you? I hear you. I don't see you. Oh, no, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't work like that. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Go back to Golden Slam. Like in this church over here, I think there's a there's some big nasties. Well, as I thought there was. Yeah, right here. So I guess, wait, where is it? Yo, one of these has an underground and there's a talisman. It's like Pearl Drake talisman plus two or. Where's the other one? No, give me this. Oh. Well, yeah, you need you need FP for that. So, okay, there's, I guess, certain Ashes of War are the only ones that make it so you don't have to double tap the undead, which I know this. I even made a video. I think it's called Undead Easy Mode, so that way, yeah, I remember now. All right, let's go. All right, let's go to the grace and then I want to do I want to run through this area coming up on foot. Cuz I always fly through on my horse and I never like take the time to just go through it. All right, I'm going to end it here and then in the next one I'm going to go through this like uh river area and then uh go up, make our way to Makar but adios be well i'll see you in the next one